Uh, welcome, John, to students to class today on this Friday the 3rd. I uh, hope you guys are doing well. Hope you're ready to go over some math today and take a quiz and uh, also uh, learn some more math today. Uh, let's quickly go over some announcements here. Hold on one second, please, if I can get this to work. There we go. Uh, we will have a test next week, students. I'm not sure yet um, what day that will be, but we will have a test next week. Um, turn in yesterday's homework now at this time. If you would, please make sure your name is on the homework assignment. And the homework assignment is page 137, numbers 11 through 14, uh, 17 through 24, and numbers 30 and 31. Uh, Jerry, you turned yours in early yesterday, so you do not need to turn this in. But the rest of you, uh, go ahead and make sure your name is on the homework assignment, and go ahead and turn that in now at this time. Incompletes for this class. Uh, you guys are doing really well on your incompletes, and I want to compliment you guys and tell you how much I appreciate uh, the job that you're doing. It's really been a help to me. Um, some of my other classes are not doing as well as you guys, so I really do appreciate the job that you're doing. Uh, Madison quiz by today. Um, please don't forget that. I do not want to give you a zero, but I will if I have to. Um, quiz, uh, your quiz makeup does need to be done today. And Cody, you also. So, uh, so both of you guys, please make sure that you uh, take your quizzes today. Um, this is the last day that you have, or they will turn to zero. So please take your quizzes today. Okay. All right, let's continue on. No other incompletes besides those two. Uh, let's see what else we have. Um, uh, schedule for today, we're going to take a quiz, then take notes, and have homework. So a really busy class. But remember, guys, I graciously took uh, Monday off and went over your quiz with you guys to help you. And so we have to push a little bit toward the end of the week here, okay? Um, today's lesson is about proving lines parallel. And we will learn four ways to do that. The video for today is 31, about 31 minutes long, so not too bad. And I think you should finish most of it, if not all of it, in class today. All right, let me get a drink here real quick. Uh, go ahead quickly, go ahead quickly, if you would please, and copy down the homework for tonight. Your homework for tonight is page 144, uh, numbers 9 through 16, and then numbers uh, numbers 19, 23, and 24. Uh, so go ahead and copy that down if you would, please. That's your homework for tonight. And let me pause the video real quick here. Okay, students, I'm back. Sorry about that. I wanted to check your homework real quick and see um, if there were any tricky problems here I should talk to you about. And it looks like uh, the only problem that might be a little tough is number 16. Uh, number 16 is a two-column proof, so make sure that you uh, use the video if you need to on number 16, okay? Uh, let's see, moving on here, the help video is called Geometry Track 1, October 3rd Homework. So that is the name of the uh, help video for tonight. Uh, the video you need to watch today is called proving, uh, proving Lines to be Parallel. Proving Lines to be Parallel. So go ahead and make note of that, please. Proving Lines to be Parallel. And I will pass out your quizzes that, that you t guys took earlier this week. I will pass those out. Um, once everyone has taken the makeup quizzes, not everyone's done that yet. So as soon as everybody's done that, I will then pass out your quizzes to you. Okay? Uh, that's basically uh, that's basically it, I believe. Go ahead and pause the video at this time and pass out the quizzes. And as soon as everybody has a quiz on their desk, uh, then go ahead and restart the video and we'll go over the quizzes together. Okay, students, here we go. Uh, you should have a quiz on your desk. Let's go ahead and look at these quizzes. I don't want to put the uh, quiz up on the screen because I don't like the quiz to be out on the Internet in case there are students missing today and they could actually um, watch the video from their house. And so I don't want the quiz to be up there. But if you'll look at numbers 1 through 4, I want you to... Um, write the correct angles in the blanks. I'm going to go ahead and give you one answer to number one. Now, number one has two sets of answers. Number one, I want you to write out all of the alternate interior angles. Now, remember, please listen to me. On numbers one through four, the angles come in pairs of two. So, for number one, uh, feel, f uh, feel free to, uh, to write this on your quiz if you want to. It's totally fine. Angle 6 and 4 are alternate interior angles. So in the blank there for number 1, you would write 6 and 4. Then there's another pair that goes in that blank. And, and then go on to number 2. I want you to list out all the pairs of alternate exterior angles for number 2. For number 3, list out 
all the pairs of corresponding angles. For number four, list out all the pairs of consecutive interior angles, okay? Uh, the one that will have the most will be number three, okay? Uh, there's more corresponding angles than any of the others um, that you have there, okay? So understand that. Now, uh, look at your directions for numbers 5 through 11. In the figure above, angle 1 has a measure of 100. So from that information, I want you to find the measures of all of the other numbered angles. And you can do that. I mean, remember, you know something about uh, linear pairs. Uh, you know something about uh, vertical angles. You know something about corresponding angles, alternate interior, etc., etc. Okay, so you can do that. Um, if you just know one, uh, actually, I, I made a mistake there, and I apologize to you. It just dawned on me right now. Um, go ahead and pretend. I, I really feel uh, bad about this, and I apologize, but go ahead and pretend that those lines up there are parallel. And I forgot to do that. So those lines up there, uh, the two lines that are running horizontal, uh, for numbers 5 through 11, pretend those two lines are parallel and then answer questions 5 through 11. Okay, it's very, very important, and I apologize for that mistake, okay? All right, and then number 12, I'm trying, I made this quiz a little shorter, so we have time for the notes in class today to, uh, to help you guys out. I want you to solve for X for number 12, and notice those two lines are parallel. They have the red parallel symbols on them, and so you should be able to figure out what X equals if you understand your math well and the uh, correct pairs of angles and information that you know when two parallel lines are cut by a transversal, you should be able to solve for x. Okay? All right. Uh, go ahead and get started at this time, and then whenever uh, Miss Frampton feels like it's appropriate, she can start the video, and we'll go from there. Okay? Have a good weekend, and please, students, do your homework over the weekend. Have it done, and have it turned in um, by Monday. Okay?